Stanley Fox was 18 years old and living in Vancouver when he discovered his life's passion, filmmaking. And now that he's 88, with 70 years of fascinating stories to tell and the pictures to prove it, Veronica Cooper profiles him. Well, when I was about 12 years old, I got a Christmas present. And it was one of those Kodak do-it-yourself home darkrooms kits. It was 1940, and that gift ignited Stanley Fox's passion for photography. In 46, Stan was loaned a motion picture camera by friend Dorothy Burrett from the Vancouver Film Society. I couldn't afford to buy proper camera stock, so I used printing stock and reverse processed it. Stan honed his craft on the streets of his city, Vancouver. Two of his short films won honorable mention at the Canadian Film Awards in 49 and 50. Sweet Two, made with Dorothy Burrett, was about her home and her circle of artistic friends. In the Daytime was an ambitious amateur documentary, A Day in the Life of Vancouver. Both films are now preserved at the Royal BC Museum. Look at the size of that film. Right. It was hand cranked. His shelves are crammed with a lifetime of memories. It's a reflex camera. The Rolly cord, that's a famous camera too. And these are splicers for putting the film together. Including a journal of every movie he saw from 45 to the late 50s. Blythe Spirit, 1946. Superb, an almost perfect screen comedy. In 1953, television arrived in Vancouver. He had no one in Vancouver's experience. It was in film, so they would hire almost anybody. Over his 16 years at CBC Vancouver, Stan managed the film department, directed and produced TV programs, and mentored young filmmakers. In 72, Toronto's York University invited Stan to teach in their new film school, and he headed east for the rest of his long career in television and film. It was interesting that, to me that Stan was largely a self-taught photographer and cinematographer, and he had developed his skills as an amateur. He went on to inspire other filmmakers through the CBC, through TV Ontario, through his work as a professor. A whole generation, possibly two or three generations of young Canadian filmmakers had the benefit of Stan's teaching. Stanley Fox, an important contributor to the history of Canadian film. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.